But yeah, man, welcome back to the Snake Trap Sessions. I am so excited to be back. Good everybody, it's your boy MJ up in the building. Welcome back to another Snake Trap Sessions vlog. If this is your first time tapping in, what is good? I'm your boy MJ. Hit that like button, drop a comment. More importantly, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. That way you're on top of every single vlog that I drop here on the Snake Trap Sessions vlogs channel. Appreciate it to all my new subscribers to this channel. Really means a lot. I am going to be very consistent with dropping two vlogs every single week right here on the Snake Trap Sessions vlogs. So if you already subscribed to this channel, you're already off to a good start. Mad love and mad respect to you. I am so stoked for today because I have something incredibly awesome I wanna share with you guys. About a couple weeks ago, I added a new species of python to the traps and I have not spilled the beans yet. But what's crazy is I got another snake that's the same species coming from the same guy that's being dropped off by him himself, my boy Marcel. Him and his wife driving down to drop off this snake. So the fact that I haven't even showed off the first snake that I got two weeks ago, I figured why not show off the second and the first together. And since my boy's bringing him down with his wife, we'll give them a quick tour. And we'll talk a little bit about this project that my boy Marcel was very successful on. This is a project that so many people have been trying to get their hands on and hardly anyone has been able to do it. So what's awesome is my boy Marcel is one of the damn lucky few to hatch out this species. Talk about what he pulls up and holy shit, I think he's here right now. Let's tap in. Chee! Good, so check it out. I got my friend Marcel and Jayana, his wife. Cute, look at her. So I have to ask you, you have a guy like this working with some amazing snakes. Um, how does it feel to like have these kind of snakes in your house? I mean, are you at ease with it? Or like, how long did it kind of take you to get used to it? It was like a adjustment at first, getting to meet him, like know him and him having the snakes. But now it's like they're normal and I hold them and I'm just like very like used to them now. You've been And you've been married for how long? Uh, two, two years. Two years? Oh yeah. my God, well that's awesome. I'm glad you're here because you know, I, I figured since this is your first time here, I'll kind of show you around. Uh, you know, obviously you've already met the alpacas. What do you think of Tamara? They're so cute. They're pretty <laughs> awesome. Now here, your daughter actually wants them too. Yeah, are you, she does. Are you, are you down for some alpacas? Sometimes? I am. They're All right. nice. All right, cool. Well, maybe I will get a male then I can breed some. All right, so why don't we go check out the trap and then we're actually gonna talk about what Marcel's actually holding right there because not too many people, if not anyone in the United States, are able to say they hatched out what's in your hands. So let's go inside the trap and let's talk about it, man. So again, thank you for coming down. I gotta say, bro, huge congrats for what we're about to see right here, what's inside the box. Everyone's talking about it. I can tell you that right now, but all good things. Before we dip into it, let's kind of talk about the species um, that you were successful breeding here and what's inside the box. So what everybody knows them as is Malukan scrub pythons. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter. <laughs> she's good, she's and, good. Uh, uh, they're known as Similia class Olepis. Um Basically, I got into them about three, almost four years ago. It was 2019. First, I saw them from your boy, Stephen Kush. Oh, shout out to him, because I saw them and I fell in love. First I saw them, I was like, wow, I'm like that's those are beautiful snakes. And then, you know, I just kept my eye out. And then I saw somebody, he was willing to, he was willing to sell me one. And then I got my female, like probably, three months later right so it was just it was amazing to mature adults like just just, yeah. just to explain like it's not like you got babies or like juveniles like you actually just happen to get the right snakes at the right time I right think. right i got i got uh my male first so he was about eight years old when i got him right and my female i was told was four years old um she was she was small when i got her but um as far as I as I know, she was four years old. But being in being an import, we really don't know. 
but now she I've had her about three years, so she's gotta be like six or seven, so. What, what was it like experiencing watching them breed? I saw locks right away. So when I first put my male my mail in, he uh, he bred her right away, but there was no production whatsoever. The more I started to dip into them, the more I started researching and caring for them, um, I realized that they, obviously they need a bigger enclosure. Cause at first, when I first had them, they were in a three by three by two foot enclosure. The males, Eight foot. Right. So, That's yeah. Nice yeah. So, I, I changed her enclosure about five, six times. This last year that um, I saw a lock and it seemed like she, she gave in. Everything I did um, seemed like she really took to him. It seemed like everything was going the right direction. She inverted and I got 17 good eggs. Oh my God, that is so huge. And obviously props, because whatever whatever he does, you do, so good job. Uh, <laughs> there, there was a small group of people, you know, scrub, you know, the, the scrub community, right? Um, who were kind of like talking about, okay, yeah, so you got eggs, but then how are they gonna look when they come out the egg? How are they gonna eat? And sure enough, man, and I appreciate you updating me, but you sent me pics when they came out the egg, they look fire, and then they, the feeding trials, how do they, how did that go? How did feeding them go? Feeding them was probably the most difficult thing I've ever experienced in, in keeping anything. snakes or <laughs> reptiles or anything. Okay. Um, my wife can tell you every single day, before even before they hatched, I was like, ah, oh, I don't know if they're gonna hatch. I'm so worried about them. I was checking them every day. Then feeding was just a pain. Um, I was so worried about if they were gonna eat or if they were eating enough. And uh, one of the babies I actually had to assist feed. So it was it was hard. And then unfortunately we had one baby pass away, but uh, it comes with the territory. Hundred so. percent. So what, 16 out of 17? Yeah, yeah. That is epic. Actually, because I haven't even shown people the other snake you brought me, so we're gonna be displaying both of these, which is awesome because they're two different examples of what you hatched out. So this would be the normal phase, or the, re the regular Malukan scrub python. Look at that. And you were under the impression this was a female, correct? At first, is I mean, this this was initially a holdback for you, or? right? So this was a holdback. I'm keep. I was initially keeping uh, seven. Wow. So now it evens the playing field. Now I got um, six because this is going to yours truly, MJ. <laughs> wow, man! Amazing. He's a male. It's crazy how this goes from being almost impossible to find to now you just hatched them. <laughs> I, yeah, everybody's been telling Dude, me. It's, uh, like, like it just like the game just changes that quick. You I know, love it. and and I really wanna, I really wanna reiterate that oh, I, sure. I'm, I I'm so lucky. That. I'm so lucky to have just, just been able to produce these. Um, you know, as much help as I've had, you know, it's still it's still pretty lucky to even to even have these. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, too, I, it's I all good. Like, when I said, I think I think she's laying eggs. I think this is it. Uh, my wife was like, "You're crazy, and you're you know you're just obsessed with these things." And but I, told him, I, was, I didn't know anything about these things. I told him, like, if you're saying they're never captive bred, what makes you think you can do it? Right place at the right time. He yeah. he happened to get his hands on um, some adults that were at the perfect maturity and the chemistry was there. You figured out how to keep them where they got comfortable and boom, this is, this is the results. So yeah, this is the male normal Malukan. And what I'll do is I'll pull the female out here in just a second. Um, but yeah, this is, this is gorgeous, bro. All right, I'm gonna pull out Little Mermaid because I named the uh, other one that I got Little Mermaid, which I don't know what made what I was thinking of, but let's pull out Little Mermaid, which is gonna be her brother, yes. right? All right, cool. And then Marcel, you know, all due respect, I'm gonna have to have you just do the honors and bust out Little Mermaid. And this is the... Exanthic Sumelia Clastolepis or Malukan Scrub Python. So this is the Exantic version of the normal that we're looking at to right. the right. Wow, this is unbelievable. Basically, like same clutch. And you weren't expecting this, were you? Were you? I mean, I, obviously there were so many things you weren't expecting. Yes. <laughs> so when add I, this to the list. <laughs> when I tell you I got really lucky um, to even hatch out Azanthic Malukan scrub pythons is like 
for me is just phenomenal. I didn't even know there were exantic Malukans until this happened. Right, that that could be. Um, as far as I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't think. I know people in Europe have bred them, but I think it's. I mean, in my opinion, I don't think all of them have had exantic in them. This is just amazing. And you can, I mean, this snake is blue. Like she's in shed right now, but. So then before we wrap this up, I mean, I gotta ask you, what's the plan this year with your pairing? Um, are they locked up now or what's happening this year for you? So this year the female is is ready to go again. Um, as far as I can tell, she's got good weight back on her. Uh, I did acquire a, um, a Xanthic adult Malukan scrub python wow. from uh, Canada. Um, shout Who's out that? to Philip. Okay. Philip, okay. I got a lot of info from him too. Got, I got my adult Xanthic from him. They're pairing really well right now. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I can't say for sure that she's gonna do it again. You don't hear anything about this, right? Like what's to say worst case scenario? Like this is all you get out of it. This is still humongous. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm just talking about from your initial pairing, like, like this right here opens the doors for so many other opportunities. Your hold back. You know, there's people who have snakes that are probably older than yours and they won't breed for whatever reason. So, and you, and you, you, you got it, bro. You broke the code. You, you done, you done busted it open. Man, Marceau. He will be on Trap Talk, right? You, it's it's yeah. gonna happen. Up underscore six. Are you ever gonna start like, cause that's your personal, right? Yeah. And you do you do share both, but do you ever plan on like starting like a, a reptile page or anything like that or? I do, it's it's Rep Kings, so. Oh, you do have one? Yeah, so it's oh, R-E-P. K I N G Z. Okay. Um, yeah, so just cause, you know, I like I feel like these are the the kings of the reptile world, so hundred ten percent. Yeah. These I mean in my opinion, these would give Bolins a run for their Oh team. yeah. hundred ten percent. And you know, Bolin keepers out there are probably laughing, but I don't I mean I've seen these adult as as adults. I've not seen a United States Captain Board and Bread as an eight year old snake. Like who knows how good these are gonna look like. I I, I mean oh. I, I I can't wait. But again, Go follow my boy Marcel. Thank you so much. And then shout out to the wives out there. I appreciate you so much. High five. Beep. <laughs>